Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And, babe, I just woke up. Um, I did not think we were going to work today. Yesterday, it was raining, thundering, lightning, girl, flooding. Girl, it was a mess yesterday. Um, it was just a complete mess. A bitch got nervous because I ain't got no food in my house. Girl, I ain't got no food in my house. So here I go. Here I go. Going to Walgreens. This how you know I'm fucked up in the head. I done took my black ass to Walgreens and got a bottle of wine and three bottles of water and, think, and, and thought I was good. Bitch, you still ain't got no food? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I need to get my life. Hey, y'all, uh, that was my coworker uh, calling me. I don't know what's going on at my job, child. She was just telling me they told her not to come in till 12. I said, ain't nobody told me shit. Bitch, I'm on my way. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, I said maybe they told y'all to come at 12, but they still want me to come at 10 because it's probably not enough for all of us to be there. You see what I'm saying? So maybe they still want me to come at 10. Maybe it's just enough work for one person and they don't need, you know, four or five people there because it's not enough to do right now. I don't know, I'm headed to work out. Anyways, child, so yeah, it was a mess yesterday. It was raining everywhere, the roads were flooded. Um, bitch, a hoe got nervous. I was thinking like, Lord, I know this ain't about to be another hurricane. What's that hurricane reader that hit Houston a couple of years ago? When the girl, the city got shut down, okay? I was just thinking in my head like, Lord. And then I had to go get my niece from school, girl. So I, if the roads were flooded, like thank God my sister has an SUV because if I was in my brother-in-law's car, bitch, it would have been a no-go, honey. That water, baby, cars will be in, cars will getting stuck. Well, some of y'all hoes was running y'all cars into that water on purpose. I already know how that insurance fraud go. Don't ask me how I know, but I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I already know what y'all hoes was doing, driving cars all into water. Bitch, you know damn well that Mini Cooper was not gonna get through that water. You didn't see them other five cars sitting right there? So what you thought your car was gonna do? You thought your car was gonna make it through all that goddamn water? But yeah, some of the girls, some of the girls was just driving their uh, cars right into the water, girl. I said, I know that's right, but you better get, you better get rid of that high-ass car. You knew you couldn't afford that car no when you got that hoe, okay? Anyways, so yeah, child, it was a mess. I had to go get my niece from school, and girl, I'm trying to figure out ways to, you know, and then I'm like the back, like the neighborhoods, they were just, girl, they, was, they were probably worse than the roads. So I'm like, well, what am I do? So, I, girl, I had to think of a plan. I, I finally, you know, I thought of a plan. I was like, I'm gonna get my baby. I'm getting my niece, baby. Okay. They wouldn't even let my um my brother-in-law. He has a son. Um, and his other baby mama, uh, I guess was telling him that they wouldn't let they wouldn't let the kids out of school. Like they were basically saying that they would have to. The kids were gonna have to spend the night. Spend the night, baby. What? So my brother-in-law was at work. They say he was, my sister said he was pissed off and freaking out and trying to get shit like, I'm like, oh child. But let me go get y'all daughter, honey. I don't know what to do about him, but <laughs> I mean, child, I, I mean, that's out of my control. Oh. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a mess. Now look, the motherfucking sun is out. The sun is out. Did, did I pass up Starbucks? Girl, the sun is out, honey. The sun is out like ain't shit happened yesterday. When I tell you this Houston weather will drive you fucking insane, will drive you insane. Anyways, y'all. What's up? What's been going on? I had some shit I wanted to talk about. Oh, girl. Takashi 69 that's the girl I wanted to talk about. Baby, let me tell y'all something. I don't know what's going on with Takashi 6 ix 9 but when I tell y'all, he telling on everybody, everybody. I don't feel sorry for Takashi 6 ix 9 It's sad because we're going to go ahead and say it. Um, 
the little boy probably gonna end up dead. I mean, girl, you doing too much telling. Girl, if y'all don't let me get over so I can get to the Starbucks. Um, girl, if you don't motherfucking go, why are you driving so slow? Girl, do y'all see how slow I'm driving? Girl, these, girl. One shit in front of him. I need to get my black ass to work. Anyways. Um, Takashi six nine. Oh, baby, that line is long as fuck. Uh uh, we not doing no Starbucks today, baby. I'm really gonna be late. Let me get my black ass to work. Oh, hey. Um, Takashi six nine, baby. He really telling, baby. He telling on everybody. Do you hear me? Girl, I said he gonna end up dead. But see, that's what happens when you play them games, when you play them street games. I ain't from the street. I don't do the street, bitch. I stay on the sidewalk, okay? That street shit ain't for me. Do <laughs> you hear me, bitch? Okay? Uh-uh. I'm happy I grew up in the country. We didn't have no gangs, okay? The most people was was homophobic and racist. <laughs> but we didn't have no gangs, no shit like that, bitch. Some of y'all hoes gonna stop trying to act so hard. And then when it comes time to do your time, girl, you want to start telling on everybody. Now, I don't really understand the whole snitching thing. One of my friends, girl, she thinks she's so hood, child. This bitch thinks she is hood. This bitch spent two days in jail because of some tickets. Now, this bitch thinks she is certified gangster. Girl, get your ass out of my face, girl. So, I'm on the phone with her last night. And she tried to explain to me how the snitching game works. And I guess I get it a little bit. Basically, from what I understand is this. You choose to be a part of this lifestyle or you want to be a part of this lifestyle or, or this is just a lifestyle that was, that was pretty much put in your lap. Now it's time to do your time because you know you were doing some fucked up shit. But now all of a sudden, girl, you want to start telling on, telling on everybody else. So now you snitching because your ass about to get 50 years. So, and, and when you when you look at it that way, it's kind of like, I guess it's one of those things where like, you agreed to be a part of this lifestyle, you knew what came with this lifestyle, and now that the lifestyle done caught, done caught up with your Mexican ass, now you want to start singing like a bird and telling everybody else business, and getting everybody else possible, and you know, getting everybody else in trouble. It's a possibility, basically. So, I mean, I guess I understand it. I don't know. All I know is like, I'm glad that ain't nothing. That ain't got nothing to do with me, baby. Y'all see, I'm limiting the what the fuck I, I mean, limiting what I say because I'm not about to get on here telling nobody business and my social security number disapproved. No, ma'am. Them gangs do not play. And, you know, as sad as, as sad as it is, like, Takashi 69, girl, I just don't see your family being safe. It's sad. I don't see his family being safe. I definitely don't see him being safe. Girl, you petite. You petite. Girl, girl, you got long hair. Girl, if, girl, you they're gonna have a field day with you in prison, girl. You got that long, pretty hair. You small and petite. Bitch, they are gonna have a field day with you in prison. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is sad. The moral of the story is stop acting so motherfucking street and stop acting so goddamn hard. Because I remember it was a few times I saw that nigga online acting up and uh, cutting up and acting a goddamn fool. Remember when he was in Chicago and he was like um, on the south side talking about, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. It was like two or three o'clock in the morning. And then remember another time he was like like putting a hit out on somebody, y'all. I know y'all I know y'all remember this. And I was like, this fool done lost his goddamn mind. Trying to be cute. Trying to be trying to be cute for Instagram. That's what y'all hoes get. Trying to be cute for Instagram. Instagram not not look. Instagram ain't nowhere to be found. Everybody minding their business. <laughs> yeah. You really was out in these streets trying to entertain us. Now you about to be somebody's wife in prison. Or either somebody gonna slice your goddamn throat. Girl. Mm-mm. The streets ain't made for everybody. 
That's why they got the sidewalk. <laughs> okay? You smell. You smell. Stay your ass on the sidewalk with me and the other girls. And act like you don't see nothing. <laughs> I didn't see nothing. Did you see something, Rodney? I didn't see nothing. I was a girl. I was, I was in my house. Hose is coming up dead. Do you hear me? Anyways, child. What else? I'm just talking. I ain't got no notes or nothing. Girl, um. What about Kevin Hart? Kevin Hart, child. He done, um. Girl, that little girl. Who was that? He was thick. Damn. Um. Kevin Hart, supposedly. Well, Kevin Hart is being sued for $60 million, right? Back in 2017, he made a, well, he cheated on his wife, Aniko, uh, with some girl. And I ain't even gonna sit here and lie, girl. The girl look like she transgendered to me. I don't think she is, because I'm sure it would've hit the internet by now. But my whole thing is this. I'm not saying cheating is right, but bitch, if you gonna cheat, at least cheat with somebody who passable. <laughs> cheat with somebody who don't look like no transgender woman if that ain't what you into. And then she don't, and if you gonna cheat, bitch, at least cheat with somebody who a badass bitch. Like that girl was just, I, girl, if you watch my videos, hey girl, that girl just had average looks to me. So you mean to tell me you about to ruin your whole goddamn family, possibly put your career on the line for a bitch that got average looks? I'm not saying that it's worth it if she fine as fuck, but bitch, I think some people will understand like the bitch is bad. <laughs> Girl, you fucking with a bitch who look like she work at Route 21. Okay, shout out to the bitches who work at Route 21. So, I mean, you could be bad at working with the Route 21. Y'all know what I'm. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So supposedly back then, I don't. I don't even remember hearing about this sex tape. So supposedly back then, they made the sex tape. I'm sorry, a sex tape was made. They thought at first they were saying that it was Kevin Hart's ex best friend. Remember that trifling nigga who tried to extort him out of some money? They were saying that it was his be his ex best friend. And she was basically trying to say that they that her and Kevin were both victims. But now I guess that bitch pockets running dry and her record uh she, I think she's supposed to be a singer. I guess her recording um her her singing career hasn't really taken off like she thought it was going to do. So now this bitch say she's suing Kevin Hart for $60 million because he had something to do with it. He set it up because um, he wanted the publicity. Now, girl, that's a goddamn one thing we will say. I don't too much care for Kevin Hart, but girl, he don't need no goddamn public. He don't need to pull no publicity stunt. You know what I'm saying? Well, girl, even though I got my own thoughts about this car wreck, but that's just me. Um... But I don't think that he would do something as like set up, you know, a, a, a camera to rec record him having sex. Like, no, like, no, maybe Takashi 6 now would do some shit like that. But I don't see Kevin Hart doing no shit like that. So really and truly, I think the bitch is lying. I think that she set up the camera. I think uh, somebody else set it up. I think she knew about it. And now this bitch want to get some money. However, I don't feel bad for Kevin Hart because what happens is when you fuck with hoes, when you fuck with hoes and you fuck with hoes you don't know, that's what happens. When you cheat on your family, when you cheat on your family, it's going to be a bitch out there who's going to be trying to sue you for 60 million goddamn dollars. That's what your ass get. Keep your dirty dick in your pants. Stop cheating on y'all wives. Then y'all will not have to worry about these hoes, these bitches, these groupies. These gold diggers trying to get your money. What the fuck you thought was going to happen, bitch? You thought you was going to sleep with a girl and her find out how much money you got and her not try to try to scheme and scam your ass out of some of it? Girl, I don't be getting it. Girl, some of the people on the internet talking about that man in back surgery. She wrong for that. I said, no, she ain't. I, that, ain't that, that ain't what I do. But she ain't wrong. She doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Okay, and what the fuck up having back surgery got to do with, got got to do with his checking account? Girl, nothing. <laughs> the bank is still open. If he was having back surgery and he had just got out the hospital, whatever was going on with his back, that ain't got nothing to do with the bank. Okay, nothing. I don't feel sorry for him. Keep your dick in your pants. 
And you wouldn't have to worry about these hoes doing this shit that they doing. And that's just that's just that, that that's just what it come down to. I say it's so weird to me how people y'all are y'all basically instead of basically calling out calling it out for what it is, the nigga cheated on his wife with a bitch he didn't know. Okay? And now he now the bitch is basically trying to get him for some money. And y'all mad at the bitch. How? <laughs> Girl, he cheated on his wife and y'all mad at her. Cause she's trying to get some money. I mean, I don't get it. Every bitch ain't gonna be, oh yeah, I fuck with a celebrity. I find, you know, I found out he was married. I'ma let it go. Some girls would be like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I can see myself doing some shit like that. Like fucking with somebody who I didn't know was a celebrity because bitch, I'm not gonna fuck no celebrity just to be fucking no celebrity. You know, some of y'all hoes got the game all fucked up, you know? Some of y'all really be happy y'all be fucking... Like, it's kind of like when I was in college. Like, when the girls used to be so happy to have sex with the Kappas or the Alphas or the Omegas and I used to be like, these girls really be fucking these... Like, these girls really be giving a pussy just because this nigga is a Kappa or an Alpha. That's how I feel now, like, with these new girls. Like, these new girls, like, they be happy just to fuck future. Like, girl, you fucking a whole millionaire, and you ain't got shit out of it. You just another wet spot on his bed, bitch. And you excited? What you excited for? I fuck future. Bitch, you ain't get shit out of it. You ain't get no bag. You ain't get no shoes. You ain't get no money. Girl, the most important thing is money. You ain't get no money. You could have got you a Chanel bag and took it back and got the money or something, bitch. You ain't did shit but fuck future. And you want to walk around here bragging. That ain't shit to brag about. Not to me. There's one thing you can say I fuck future and I got that nigga to buy me a house. I'd be like, what, bitch? <laughs> Girl, how you do that? Yes, ma'am. Girl, you need to let us know what the fuck you doing. Let the other girls in on the secret, bitch. Anyways, child, um, I'm at work. Let me get my black ass in here. All right, y'all. Um, I just want to just come to y'all and just you know be a little messy this morning. Takashi six nine girl, girl, don't drop the soap, honey, cause they're gonna turn your little booty hole up in prison, girl. And just, girl, don't go to sleep, cause girl, they gonna slice your throat. Girl, and they gonna come after your family too. Um, Kevin Hart, at the end of the day, like, girl, y'all, I mean, I, like, I don't feel sorry for no nigga who cheat on his wife and then the, the, then the bitch who you cheat on try to sue you for $60 million. Like, we wouldn't even be in the situation if, guess what, if you would've cheated on your wife. <laughs> girl, it's just that simple. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, bye.